Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Kristen. And we're from Jimmy Bean School, and we are here to show you how to wear asymmetrical shawls. So um, you may have noticed lately, and you know, for the last few years really, uh, asymmetrical shawls are pretty popular. There's a lot of designs out there for them. They're really cool, really pretty, but they can be a little tough to wear if you don't, if you haven't done it before. So we wanted to show you how we like to wear them, and also recently I did the Orange is the New Black knit along, um, and the result is this cell block shawl, I'm calling it. Um, and it is asymmetrical, and so we thought this was a good opportunity to show you guys um, how to wear this shawl. So, um, anyways, we've got Kristen here, and she is wearing um, one done by a test center. This is the small size, so in case you're wondering, there's two sizes in the pattern, um, and this is the small size. So, um, and she's got it tucked, there's little holes along the edge of it. So, in this one, what I wanted to do is, because it's asymmetrical and it's kind of tough to wear, I put holes in along the um, bind off edge that you can kind of tuck the tails through. So the way she's got it here is she's got the tails tucked through this hole here and then also underneath there's more holes. So if you're one of those people that goes running around at work or at home chasing your kids or whatever um, and you don't want the tails of your shawl like I've got mine here with the tails just hanging out, if you don't want your tails you know getting in your way then you can tuck them in through the holes the way she's got it there. And the way she did that is um, you kind of just tuck your Let's see, how do we do that? We took the, took the two holes on the two edges here and held them together like that. And then you take the skinny end and you pull it through one of the holes on this side and then back up through both of the holes that you're holding together here. And then, voila, no more tails hanging in your way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. and. It's really easy to do it, and I love how, um, like, you've got your nice skinny end, and then all of your holes here are, like, just right along the edge, so you can play with different configurations mm -hmm. of that. They're kind of spaced out every six inches or so. I'm sure you can see them on the camera if you zoom in a bit. Yeah, you can definitely just throw it around your shoulders and start pulling that tail through the holes and see which one works for you, uh, what kind of configuration you like. So, yeah. Um, and then there's other ways to wear this too. The more, I think a more traditional way to wear asymmetrical shawls, and we'll show you this with a couple others that we've got here. But I like to kind of pull the point over one shoulder. I think this is a really elegant way to wear mm -hmm. the shawl. And then you can kind of drape one end sort of over your, your left shoulder and then pull the other edge over your right shoulder like that. And then it, you know, you get this really elegant, like, sweep of the the triangle edge coming down your arm. And I think that that's better suited if you have the larger version, like what Rachel's wearing, yeah. or are uh, more petite, because I'm pretty broad-shouldered, and the small on me is really tough to do that with, mm -hmm. but that just, you know, maybe helps you make your decision as to what one to knit. And you can always grab yourself a little shawl pin like one of these guys, or shawl stick, and um, kind of, you know, use that to secure your end so that it's not going to go flying off. I'm, I'm real big on securing the ends because, you know, when we're running around in the warehouse, you know, pulling yarn and doing the things that we do every day, we really don't want our, our ends yeah. hanging hanging in the way. So, yeah, and yeah, there's another cute way to wear it too. Just use that shawl pin to, to kinda, secure the edges there. Yeah. Kind of together. Yep. So. And then you can also just do it the traditional way, like Rachel had it originally, where you just have the point kind of hanging down in front, and then you loop the little ends, the tails, over. And yeah, sure, one of your tails is going to be a little longer than the other mm -hmm. with an asymmetrical shawl, but that's just, that's okay. You yeah. know, you just kind of let it do what it's going to do. Yeah. And there's one more kind of cute way to use the holes. I will be totally honest here and say that I think this will look a little better on somebody who's a little less curvy than me. But... <laughs> Um, so you've got the, hit, the the holes along this edge here, and what you can do is turn around and pull your tail through the hole like this, and then you might want to secure it with a quick little knot too, because I don't know how well it'll stay, but then you can wear it like this, and then it's sort of an over-the-shoulders little... Shrug um, almost. Yeah, like a shrug that you can, and it looks really cute with a dress like this too, I think, mm -hmm. so... I'll probably wear this like like that out in the warehouse for the rest of the day, at least until it warms up too much for it. So it won't work quite as well on the yeah. smaller one. But yeah, you get the point. But you know, yeah. it's, it's the small one is just enough smaller that it really does give it more of a, um, you know, like a scarflet mm -hmm. version yes. versus one that's more shawl like like yours. Yeah. So it's just something to note as well. Yeah, for yeah, sure. They're really cute. Yeah. If you haven't knit it yet, you should. It's very <laughs> fun. And it's just one skein of Sportmate for the small size or um, about one and a half skeins of 
sport make for the large size. Awesome. Or two skeins of sport will do the large one too. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's good to know. Yep. So you want to show your new yeah. new design? So if you've been reading the newsletter and you read the first section, the Lauren is limited edition color this month is the um, Brat Pack color. Um, and so this is the Brat Pack color, and the shawlette that I've got here is called the Claire shawlette. It's also knit asymmetrically. You actually start at this point here and work your way down, and you end with this long, skinny point here on the other side. Right. And what I love about asymmetrical shaped shawls is that you start with just one stitch here, and you continue to increase until basically you run out of yarn. And so it's a great way to use up that entire hank of sock weight yarn that you've got hanging around and you say you only have one it's the perfect mm -hmm. um, pattern really for using up every little last bit of a special yarn that you only have one hank of mm -hmm. so um, and for this, variegated yarn too yeah mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. because the way that the colors stack here you can see that there's no really distinct pooling in yeah. the design mm -hmm. and that's a great way to avoid pooling if you have a highly variegated yarn mm -hmm. so um, the great thing about this pattern is basically once you hit this little border, you can continue to knit this border as, as wide as you like it. And I probably could have gone another couple of rows. I have a little bit of yarn left over, but I just wanted to make sure that I um, had enough. But I also, uh, I mean, when you guys are knitting this, you can very easily just go until you have just enough for your bind off, and then you're all set. Um, so that's kind of nice. I mean, I love using it. I'm one of mm -hmm. those people that loves using every last every bit last of bit, yarn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like having leftovers, so something yeah, like totally. this is perfect. Yeah. Um, cool. So yeah, so this one would be very similar to the other one. You can wear it like this and see how you've got. Mine is even longer, I think, um, in the asymmetrical department because this little tail here is much shorter than the other one. Mm -hmm. But you can sort of like wear it off to the side. Yeah, I love when the point kind of goes off to the side like that. Mm -hmm. I think it looks really elegant. Yeah, so. and then yeah. Um, I don't know. I like sometimes if I am again walking around the warehouse mm -hmm. or if I'm working or running around a lot and I really don't want it to budge, I might tie it like this, just the little tails underneath, just to kind of keep it together, and then just pull this over the top. Oh, perfect! So yeah. that you can't even really see that it's tied, and all you have is this little bandana shape yeah. right here. So that's one thing you could do as well. Um, yeah, and then you can also do the shoulder thing on this guy pretty easily as well. Kind of off to the side. Yeah, and, wrap it over and again, yeah. I have really broad shoulders, so I really have no business wearing shawls. <laughs> That use less. That's not true. You just less than, in. They use less than one skein because um, yeah. I am just not a small person. But yeah. that said, I can wear this really easily yeah. as a scarflet or something like that, and it works really well. It looks so. super cute with the shawl stick in it. It's a whole yeah. in place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for totally. sure. <laughs> Everybody's different sizes. Everyone so has a comfort level yeah. too, and I'm one of those people. I like mm -hmm. big wrappy shawls. Too, yeah, but these are so <laughs> fun for just keeping your neck warm in the winter if you yeah. just want to mm -hmm. throw something on quick. Yeah. Um, and then I think Rachel's got one last one here yeah. to show you. Well, in the, the big giant shawl um, vein, yeah. this one is much bigger, so you kind of can just throw it over your shoulders and wear it however you like. But with the the really, whoops. <laughs> and it's blue sky alpaca is alpaca and silk held yeah. double. So it's like a blanket. It it's is. Awesome. And it's super drapey. And you have this one really skinny end, and then it gets much wider down at the end. So the best way I found to wear this is the the over one shoulder thing so kind of and sandy i think sandy wears this better than anybody <laughs> <laughs> but i like to pull this end over my shoulder like that and then leave the point kind of hanging down to the mm -hmm. side there and then pull this around and then throw the tails over my shoulders this is not going to stay it looks lovely but it's not going to stay you're going to need to throw a shawl stick in to to really hold it in place um, it's just the nature of these kind of shawls so I think if you kind of accept that with asymmetrical shawls, uh, shawl sticks or shawl pins are kind of going to be essential in order to hold it in place, yeah. then you'll definitely be happier. Um, then with this one too, the other way is to kind of go with the, the kind of more traditional, you know, point in the back, and then you can kind of pin the front there. Yeah, kind of hold this over and then pin it so that you get more material in the back than in the front. Um, but with these big ones, you don't have as much versatili versatility, I think, so you kind of have to sure. yeah. just, yeah, you know, throw it on and pin it and 
That's yeah. what you gotta do. So it's a really fun shape to play with, though. Yeah. And I, like I said, I love the, I love asymmetrical shawls because you can do so much with them in terms of like yardage usage and you mm -hmm. know stitch patterns and um, you know because you start with a one stitch at one point and you work your way down, it gets bigger and bigger. And there's so mm -hmm. much versatility with the mm -hmm. way that you knit it. And there's a lot of really cute fun designs for asymmetrical shawls out there now. Yeah, and definitely. It's just something fun to try if you're, uh, you know, into shawls. It's, it's definitely a shape you should explore at some point. Yeah, I definitely agree. I love my asymmetrical shawls, so I, I highly encourage people to give it a try. Even if asymmetrical isn't normally your thing, I think you'll end up liking it. So Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so I think that's just about it, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think I need to put one on now. I know, right? <laughs> all right. Well, happy knitting, happy shawl wearing, and we hope you all have a fabulous day. Yep, thanks for watching. Yep, bye. Bye. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night.